We've moved to another rain garden and pulled some of the rocks away from the overflow from that rain garden. And I was kind of interested that you'd mentioned you're still trying to figure out exactly where this needs to be. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about how, how we size it or how we uh, fit it to our landscape? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, um, this is a rain garden I built just last fall, so it hardly has any plants in it. Mm -hmm. um, um, but. Uh, you can see the structure well because of that. Yeah. So um, I had a problem with water kind of backing up against the house, so I actually put soil against the house mm -hmm. and created a basin over here. Um, I didn't want it to just wash away down to the street, so um, I got the rain garden in here to trap it. Okay. Uh, but so I just sized it to fit the space that I had. I have a hill here and I have the house here so I could only make it so big. And we wanted to get it a bit away from the house so that yes. we don't have any standing water the, next the to basement. the foundation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, basically I just built a berm the size that I could fit it and the place that I could fit it and then I'd cut an outlet so I mm -hmm. can control where the water goes. And um, I started with it pretty low and then I put this uh, fabric down okay. to keep the weeds out and also to keep it from eroding because right. you don't want the water to take the, the soil away. Um, and then I put rocks over the top. Mm -hmm. And you know, I found we had three inches of rain and the, the water was, it wasn't a huge amount of water in here. And I said I could have kept more because I have a lot of elevation back this way. Yeah. So I think I'll probably raise this up. I'll just pull this up, put some more dirt in another inch or two, mm -hmm. and I'll be able to trap more water um, in here. And so as people build these in their landscape, they'll have to just monitor them, and especially after a rainfall event, see how much water's collecting and mm -hmm. adjust it accordingly. Yeah, it's a very easy way to do that. So, okay. And I put the rocks on just to kind of make it look nice. And Certainly hold does. The, hold the stuff down. Now you have eight rain gardens throughout your landscape, and they seem to work kind of uh, in succession with one another. Mm -hmm. um, really nice design to capture water and slow it down as it moves away from the house. Let's take a look at some of those other areas. Okay. Well, Kevin, you have several rain gardens in the upper area of your landscape and some of these will drain down into the strip along the street here. What have you done for this area to help manage that rainwater runoff? Yeah, well, when I moved in, this area was, was a big mound of soil, so it mounded up, so it was dry and it was hard to get, uh, you know, things to grow well mm -hmm. um, in this area. So what I did when I dug up the Bermuda grass was I just dug out some of the soil a little lower down, so it's an inch or two below the sidewalk and curb. Okay. So that water can actually um, fill in there, it come off the sidewalk stop. and roll into my garden area so that I'm using the water that nature provides. And you're also keeping it from running uh, down the street or down the sidewalk right. as well. And that's another area you've put a rain garden in. We see this a lot, water just comes rushing down the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. You've been able to capture that and put it into a rain garden, slow it down a little bit. Yes. Another good application.